Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today there is not a Humble Bundle, but a Humble Sale. There is a lot of software on sale right now on the Humble Store for the next week, starting today, June 24th, so I guess that would be July 1st, July 2nd area, uh, that uh, up to 75% off. Though in most cases, it's more like 25 to 50% off. And there's a lot of software, like I said, that's relevant to game developers. And in fact, I've covered a number of these tools, so for the things I have covered in the link article, I will also link to my hands-on guide or tutorial series or whatever it is for that particular piece of software. Also, if you see something on this list that you would like me to cover, do let me know and I will see what I can do about that. Now, another thing to keep in mind is Steam Summer Sale is coming up and I cover the developer tools in the Summer Sale every single year. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. That should be coming next week at some point in time. So I will be covering that as well. But this is sort of an appetizer or appetizer to that. So for without further ado, let us jump in, take a look at what the software on the Humble Software Sale is that is relevant to game developers and if you've been looking at the graphic at screen you got to know where we're going to start and we are going to start with and I screw this one up all the time some people say it's a sprite some people say it's a sprite um I don't really know how you pronounce that I think a sprite a sprite, a sprite, I don't know, one of the two, you'll let me know in the comments down below, and then I will promptly forget it for the next time I run into them. But I have done a video on this. This is probably considered the majority of people's favorite 8 16-bit style pixel sprite editor out there. Also really good for doing uh, animations. Um, it's, it's a very nice tool, definitely one worth checking out, and one that is very popular, and it's quite cheap. So you're looking at, uh, let's see, $25 savings here, so 15 bucks Canadian, probably about 11 or $12 US. It runs on every platform you've ever heard of for the most part. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is you are ultimately getting a Steam key. So you can have a Steam key and then this basically you registered on Steam. So if you're going to overlap with the sale, you can see who has the best deal on. They're normally always about the same. Uh, one major difference though, at least from my perspective, if you buy it through Humble Store, there's a bit that goes to support a uh, game from scratch. You buy it from Steam, it goes to Gabe. So your choice there. Also, the Humble Store also goes to support charity to a certain degree, but I'm not sure how store works. I normally deal with bundles. Anyways, that is a difference. Now, next up, we have Black Ink. Black Ink is a painting application. It is routinely on sale. This time it's 35% off, uh, probably about $38 US, I'm guessing. Um, this one, oh, and if you have the Humble Monthly Package, you actually save even more money on these, by the way. Uh, but this is a digital inking painting application. It's uh, not one that I actually have a lot of experience with, to be honest. So I, I can't really give you uh, much of an impression on it. I've almost picked this up several times, but never have to this point. This guy is Windows only, as you can see down here. Obviously, this is, again, a Steam key. Next up, we have Tilt Brush. Now, this one is a VR application created by Google. It's pretty sizable sales. You're seeing 75% off here, probably about five bucks US. This is a VR painting application. I haven't checked it out yet, but you can see it works on Windows. We got the, um, so that's Rift, Vive, and I think Windows Mixed Reality. Okay, so every major headset that isn't um, Android based is currently supported. I imagine it also works on uh, the Oculus Go, but I don't want to be quoted there. Uh, it's definitely an interesting 3D painting application for working in VR. And some of the work I've seen out of it is really impressive. Next up, we have Face Rig. Now, Face Rig kind of is a combination between a game development tool and a complete toy. So you can use it to do real time kind of avatar-y stuff uh, with your face, but there's a pro version that you can actually literally use for um, facial animations for your game development rig. Uh, so be sure you get the right actual version. It is a Windows only, and once again, it is redeemed on Steam. There's also a number of DLC uh, components out there, and there are different versions of face rig available in this uh, sale. So make sure you do get the right one for what you need. But if you need to do facial capture using just a standard webcam, face rig might be right for you. Next up, oh, I hate having to say these things. Rhythmic, rhythmic, rhythmic. I'll go with Rhythmic Studio. Uh, we're going into the, the land of uh, music creation stuff, which if you're a regular to this channel, you know this is an area that I absolutely suck at. Uh, but it appears to be a DAW of some form or digital uh, workspace. Um, see here, it's got uh, synthesizers, all these different things built in. There are also a number of different versions available for this. Uh, so if you are looking for a music creation tool, especially here's where I'm going to have my community help me out in the comments down below. 
if you are a music person, is Rhythmic worth looking at? Or what should you um, stay away from it or what do you like about it? Please let those people know in the comments down below. All I know is it makes music and it's on sale and I can't help you much more on that one. I haven't done any coverage on this one because again, this is a huge gaping hole in my knowledge and I really do need to start learning more about DAWs. All right, next up, we have Artisty Draft 3. Now this is one I have done some coverage on and this is a completely unique tool out there. This one is for game designers out there. Um, and what it allows you to do is you can control how your, your story evolves, you can control how inventory works, how branching dialogue should work, and this is kind of one of the only few dedicated designer tools out there. If I was going to say the closest thing that this is to is like Visio or possibly Microsoft Project for game development. It's also got exporter, so you can export your content out to game engines. So if you create your inventory or your dialogues that are used in your, say, RPG-style game or branching dialogue, you can export that data out directly to a game engine. Like I said, I have a video on this. I do recommend checking it out. It's a very interesting project. They, they keep changing up their pricing structure a bit between uh, different versions and uh, different licenses, though. So do be sure to make sure you're getting what you need and there's not an upsell requirement. Uh, RC Draft is also only available on Windows. And once again, this is a Steam key. Next, we have Vegas Pro 15 Edit. I am only putting this one on here to basically tell you not to buy it. Now, there have twice now since I've started covering the Humble Video Bundles been uh, Vegas Pro on sale for a part of like a $25 bundle. And you got Vegas Pro 5 Edit, uh, 15 Edit, I mean. And so I'm just showing you here, this is it on sale for, for what is that, probably $220 US. Stay tuned, it will eventually be in a humble bundle and you will be able to buy it for a fraction of this cost. But I'm gonna point this one out more to say, those humble bundles are legit. You get really good deals in them and this is a terrible deal because of those humble bundles. But this is actually the price. Uh, this is a video editing software, used to be by Sony, now Magic's bought out Sony. Um, it, it's a very powerful video editing software, uh, but you can get it so much cheaper if you just wait for the next humble bundle. All right, so we also got Acid Music Studio Pro. This is another digital audio workstation thing. Uh, this one is famous for using the Acid Packs or Acid uh, Loops, I think that is what they actually called them. Um, and it's been around for years and years and years. It was ultimately bought by Sony and then Magic's acquired them. Uh, again, this has been part of some of those bundles in the past, but the price is reasonable uh, and this is legitimate sale. But I have also seen this one in bundles in the past. So do keep your eye out for it. If you're interested in Acid, uh, the software, uh, do keep an eye on this one. It does routinely go into bundles. And of course, I cover all of the bundles as they happen. And like I said, they are really good deals, as you can see from these sales going on. Um, next up, we got Game Maker Studio to desktop. And in fact, we got Game Maker Studio everything. So you got the mobile DLC, the Kindle Fire, which I can't believe is actually a thing DLC. Um, a couple of other platforms as well. They're all on sale for various different prices off. Right now you're seeing 20% off. Um, this one actually runs on, this is misleading. Oh no, uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, you probably know Game Maker Studio at this point in time. If you don't, I have a video, it will be linked. So if you wanna learn more about Game Maker Studio too, it is one of the oldest running professional 2D game softwares out there. Um, and it's definitely worth checking out. The nice thing is they, there's not a subscription-based thing. It's a one and done kind of purchase. And I know a lot of people like that. Um, and again, they have all of their various different um, modules, etc., on sale. Now, this one is very routine. Uh, so the amount that things are on sale for, it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing on Steam. And if you don't like it this time, the next time there's a software sale in three months, you're going to see Game Maker and all of its pieces on sale again, and probably for about the same amount. So don't feel a lot of pressure to buy this one. But if you've been looking to get Game Maker, this is a legit sale. This is probably as good of a sale as you're going to see maybe until Black Friday. And 20% off is, like I said, pretty standard for when it is on sale. So if you're looking at getting Game Maker, now might be the right opportunity. Next up, we've got Leadworks Game Engine. Now, I actually did a, um, I did coverage of this one. I will link that with it as well. This is a, no, oh, no, I didn't do Leadworks. I did um, Copper Cube. All right, mix it up. This is a game engine people have been asking me to cover forever, and I haven't. Oh, for a very good reason, because Leadworks here is version 5, 6 is on the horizon, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it. This is a cross-platform C++ on the back end uh, game engine. Um, yeah, I guess I really haven't covered it. I've looked at it a couple times. All right, so it's Game Engine. It's 
four that's out right now, and five has been in the works. So that's why I haven't really covered it too much, because it's always kind of, it's sort of like Spriter. There's always that version that you're just waiting for, but that version gets delayed and delayed and delayed, so you don't cover the current version, and then the next version eventually is going to come out. So you're buying one version off the curb if you're buying this one. Also, keep in mind, Leadworks Game Engine is routinely on sale, um, and it's normally actually a pretty good sale, but this is pretty high. So 80% might be, uh, that might be about the biggest I've seen yet. Um, and this is for the pro version, I think. There's two different versions of it, and they're both on the Humble Store. So do make sure that you get the right actual version between the two. Uh, but if you're looking for a smallish indie C++ game engine uh, with full editing tools like so, a bit of a retro-ish uh, kind of feel about it. Uh, Leadworks might be for you. Well, again, once the new version comes out, uh, I will definitely be covering it, but we've been kind of in this limbo of waiting for 5.0 to go out of like early access or beta or whatever it's considered. Next up, we have Silo 2. Now, Silo 2 is such a tragic story. Silo 2 was such an amazing modeling application. So this is mostly for modeling and texturing. Um, Neversoft, I think it's the company that makes it. Yeah, Neversoft, that's the name. Uh, they actually had such a huge head start. When this came out, it was so much better than Blender for modeling. And then they just stopped developing it for like two or three years. I've done a video on it hands-on with Silo 2. So if you want to see a bit more of it in action, I did do a video once they started development back up. So a couple months ago, they, they started putting priority into it, and it was such a, a good subdivision model or easy texturing workflow. It was a nice alternative. So if you didn't want to go all in and buy something like 3D Studios Max or Maya or even um, Modo, it, it was a nice option at that like one to two hundred dollar range. But then they just stopped developing it for two or three years. It was pretty much abandoned. And then in that time, Blender got just so much better. So I have trouble recommending Silo to at this point in time. But it is a program that I absolutely love. And I personally came about half an inch away from buying it just before they stopped development or just after they stopped development a couple years back and I just felt like they abandoned it so I never did pull the trigger. It's interesting to see that they're throwing development might behind it again but I think the damage might be done. It's hard to tell that case but it is still a really nice modeling workflow and if for some reason Max Meyer or Blender just haven't worked for you then checking out Silo might be might be a good call. And I also think they have a time limited demo of it. Uh, it's available for Windows and Mac. Yeah, Never Center. That's right. Uh, so there is a trial out there. Yeah, seven-day trial is available on their website. It's a very streamlined, nice modeling package. Just the company dropping support for it was a bit of a turnoff. So that was it. That was the top level of the software that is currently out there. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of things out here also as well for utilities. Things like Deskapes, PC Mark, Benchmarking, VR Mark. Uh, Movie Studio, SoundForge, uh, all those various different platforms available for Game Maker that I didn't cover in this particular version. But as you can see, they're all 20% off, and that's pretty standard in these kind of sales. Um, and then some performance tools, uh, Partition Master Professional. Uh, yeah, so you see, uh, all these, there's a lot of just... Um, system tools on here that are in addition to game development stuff, but I definitely focused on the game development stuff in this release. And you're going to also, again, see Steam sales coming up next week, I think, or possibly this week. I'm not sure when that starts, but I'm going to keep an eye for it. And when it does come out, I will be doing a very similar video highlighting some of the best sales from that. So do keep an eye on both. And uh, yeah, that is it. Hopefully there's at least something of interest on that sale. And also, again, keep an eye out. I will be covering the Steam sale as it comes live. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.